Hello and welcome to another episode of the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. I'm Matt Mercer, instructor for the Pathfinder School and the founder of the Black Hat Bushcraft Channel right here on YouTube. Today I'm out doing a little solo trail riding on one of my favorite pieces of land and I'm also going to be using two of my very favorite pieces of Pathfinder stainless steel gear. Two of probably the most versatile pieces that you could own. The 64 ounce stainless bush pot and the folding stainless steel skillet. So we're going to utilize these today in conjunction with some ramen noodles. We're going to spice those things up, make an awesome Asian inspired lunch. I hope you guys will stick with me for this recipe. Let's get started cooking lunch right here on the trail right now. Just in case you're not familiar with the 64 ounce Pathfinder stainless bush pot, I wanted to take a second to show you some of its features. And this bush pot is perfectly designed for the woodsman and for camp use. As you can see, it has a folding locking bell. And this thing locks down in this position. So as you can see, the bell's not flopping around, which is really nice when you pack it away. But it also has three positions that'll lock in. First position, and probably the most used position here as you can see when i tilt this that bell stays locked in place and also it'll fold forward it does not fold all the way down in this position so when you pack it away you pull this to the back and it stays in position so just awesome to have a bell so that we can hold this over top of our fire with a tripod or a swing arm cook system something like that Another great feature that this pot has, which we'll probably utilize today, is these butterfly handles. And these things are big enough to get four fingers through or even a gloved hand. They're very thick stainless steel materials, so they're, they're very robust and built to last. As you can see, they fold away, they lock into position on the side of the pot. So just an awesome system here. As you can see, we have a well-positioned pour spout here so we can drain off our liquid which we'll utilize today. We have the stainless steel lid that has a little lift ring here so that you can use a pot hook or a utensil, whatever you may be carrying, to lift that lid off. And just a simple, perfectly sized 64 ounce bush pot. So that is the stainless steel Pathfinder bush pot, an awesome piece of camp gear. The second container I'll be using today is the Pathfinder folding stainless steel skillet. And this is the perfect skillet for a woodsman. I will say it's not a lightweight option. The skillet has some girth to it. As you can see, it does have an embossed Pathfinder logo on that. It's very well done. And as you can see, it has a heavy bottom to this pan. So this is not a lightweight skillet, but what the advantage to that heavy thick bottom is, is once it heats up, it disperses the heat very evenly and it prevents those hot spots that a lot of the lightweight stainless steel and titanium skillets might have. So this is a very good cooking pan. Um, it's definitely not a cast iron pan, but for stainless, it cooks more so like that because of this heavy bottom, the heat dis uh, distribution is really nice and even with that. As you can see, we have just a nice stainless steel lid. Uh, I have a little butter in here I'm gonna use for my recipe today. Lid fits perfect, and as you see, we have our folding handle, which goes up under the skillet to save space. And you can fold this handle out. We have a little locking device here. We slide down, and that handle's not gonna fold now. And you have a good size handle that you can get a good grip on. I also will mention, in case you want to remove that handle to pack away for some reason, it is removable. Um, very easy to reinstall that. I don't know particularly what uh, purpose for that would be, but it can be removed if necessary. But the, the uh, folding stainless steel skillet, just an awesome, again, camp cooking utensil uh, that comes in handy for so many meals. All right, so the first step is we're gonna get our bush pot here on the stove, and I need to fill this up with water to prep our noodles. So I'm gonna bring that to a boil and then we'll add our noodles in in just a moment. Now, while I'm waiting for my water to boil, I'm gonna get my stainless steel skillet out, get that locked in place, and I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of butter, get that melted in the pan, and none of this is really scientific. I'll give you guys a good recipe at the end of this video but to just understand it, it can be adjusted up or down to taste. Now to my melted butter, I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna go a little light because I don't want mine to be too sweet. We're just gonna throw that in a pan with the butter. 
Now at this point, we're gonna add about a quarter cup of soy sauce. And you can add more sauce if you want your noodles to be a little thinner. And of course, if you want them to be a little thicker, you just add a little less soy sauce. At that point, I'm gonna add about one tablespoon of this minced garlic. And I'm eyeballing that. I like garlic, so I'm gonna add a little extra. And I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of this ginger paste here. And this stuff is starting to simmer. Could I add a little extra ginger? I love the stuff. Now at that point, we're just gonna mix that all in good. Keep it moving so you don't burn it. That looks pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is just set that aside for a minute while I wait for my noodles to get ready. And I'll just set the lid on my skillet to do that. And we can add that back on the burner when the time comes. So my water is almost at a simmer. So I'm just gonna break these a couple of times. I like for my noodles to kind of stay blobbed up together. And I'm just gonna add those into the water and get those semi-tender. You can make them all the way cooked through. I kind of like mine when they're still a little bit firm. Again, this stuff, we don't need that. We're gonna get rid of it. And we'll replace the top to our bush pot and hopefully that stuff will start to simmer pretty quick. By the way, do you have a favorite recipe that you like to enjoy when you're out here in the field, on the trail, or in camp? If so, send us a copy of your favorite recipe to the email address down below. And if we choose to feature your recipe in the next episode of the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen, we'll gladly send you out a care package with all of the Pathfinder gear that we use to create your recipe here on our show. We appreciate all of your time, interest, and support, and this is one way that we can share back with you guys who support us. All right, so let's take a look. Oh yeah, we got a nice rolling boil there. Those noodles are looking just right. So now that I have this convenient pour spout on my bush pot, it'll make it very easy to drain these off. All right, so now that I've got my noodles strained out, got all the water out, what I'm gonna do is add my pan back to the burner here with that original sauce mixture. And I'm gonna get that heated back up a little bit. And from there, I'm gonna add my noodles into the sauce. And this is where those butterfly handles come in really handy on this pot. Just add that right in. Just like that. Now I can set my pot aside and I want to mix these around and get them coated really good in that sauce. I might have made these a little extra saucy, but that's okay. I'm going to let them cook for just a minute. And that'll thicken them up. Now the last step in this recipe is to crack an egg in. I've got the noodles heated back up here, starting to simmer. I'm just gonna crack an egg right in there. And now I'm just gonna mix that in and cook it up all together. And give a little protein to the mixture. And that egg is also gonna serve to thicken this all up. One. And now to top off these noodles, I'm simply gonna add some of this everything bagel seasoning. Again, if you wanted, you could just use some sesame seeds. Just kind of gives it that authentic look and taste and texture. All right, so I've given my food just a minute to cool off here and let's take a look and see what we got. It looks beautiful, everything's kind of thickened up. And you can see, I can smell that 
ginger and that garlic sesame if you really like that asian flavor or seasoning such as the garlic ginger sesame flavor you should really enjoy these noodles made it a little more hearty by adding in that egg we've got good carbohydrate there with the noodles we've got sodium replace those electrolytes while i'm out here sweating um, and also probably some sea salt and that everything bagel um, seasoning so this is just a really good enjoyable meal to have here on the trail i'm excited to eat i wish i could share it with you guys but unfortunately we can't do that on youtube yet so i did make one critical error in my preps to come out and make this video i forgot to bring chopsticks and i could use my knife to create a pair but if you could smell this dish right here you'd understand exactly why a spoon will do just fine mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, so I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in for this episode of the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. It's a great one, and I hope you'll give it a try, whether you're in camp or at home even. My whole family enjoys these noodles, so we make them regularly as a, as a lunch or as a snack, and uh, they always get eaten completely up. So I hope you'll give it a try. Don't forget, if you have a great camp recipe, send it down to that email address that'll be listed in the description box. And don't forget, we'll be sending out someone some free Pathfinder gear. I hope you'll like this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you'd like to see more from me personally, you can check out my personal channel, Black Hat Bushcraft, right here on YouTube. I hope to see you guys again for another episode very soon. And until that one, take care and be safe. Just in case anyone was curious, I was utilizing these little stainless steel Pathfinder camp tongs today, and they work great as tongs, but also you can take these two pieces apart and you have a long spork or spoon. It's a long handle, so it's good for getting down in the bottom of that pot. And then you have a nice camp spatula. It does have a little serrated edge here if you needed to use that. And then, of course, with the rivet, these two just connect back together to create that spring tong effect. These work really good and I keep them in my camp cooking box for when I'm traveling by conveyance.